Come take a look at the newest kit from Forge World for Blood Bowl. This is the Dwarven Death Roller. Spiky bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again today, taking a look at this cool little kit for Blood Bowl. It's the Dwarven Death Roller, and this thing is pretty neat. Now, of course, it comes in the long Forge World box right here, and when we unbox it, and open this bad boy up. I love how they have everything sealed right now. It's gonna have a ton of components, clam pack, and then also some uh, bubble wrap just to keep that single clam pack. I guess this is their lowest common denominator when it comes to, you either have a clam pack or you have this, and that has to go inside a box because that bubble wrap is actually empty. Now this is a 38 pound kit from Forge World, so, you know, I don't know, $40, $42, depending on which way the wind's blowing here in the States for the conversion rate. Now, before we open that up and take a look at it, let's take a look at the components themselves. Now, strangely enough, this whole assembly right here fits on a 32 millimeter base. It's really crazy. Now, it doesn't have your traditional exploded view with all the parts, but it does have at least the assembly guide right here. And you can kind of see it's got, you know, the wheels, the chassis, then you've got the gears, you got the armor plating, you got your combine in the front with your little uh, kind of uh, death blade kind of type deal right there. Very similar to the olden days, like the 1920s, 1930s, the kind of lawnmower type deal. If you've ever seen those, they basically pushed along and the momentum from you pushing it actually is what did what turned the blades in a combine type type format right there and cut your grass uh, don't ask me how i know this i actually used one <laughs> sometimes when you're a kid and you see cool stuff you're like hey i want to i want to try that and then you never see it again for the rest of your life but hey that it is what it is right there and then you can see the continuation of the assembly here some railroad kind of uh, inspired uh side pieces here that with some chain kind of motivation like um i guess basically like a bicycle chain or a motorcycle chain to kind of com convert the gear into moving the actual wheels themselves right there and then of course you've got the, uh, the dwarf right on top with his stein his tankard and uh, the foot pegs and everything right there. You, can, you got actual handlebars with brakes and things like that. Like it is just crazy. And here's the interior detail right there. You can kind of see how it all goes together. And then he goes right on there. Boom, easy game, easy life. And then it goes on top of the squished dwarf with his little arm out on the 32 millimeter base. This is a huge model to fit on a 32 millimeter base. Trust me, you're gonna be like, what? That goes on a 32 mil base? Yep, it sure does. So once again, Forge World does a fantastic job of packaging the model so it doesn't get damaged in transit here. So you've got uh, a lot of the pieces here and I'm just gonna zoom in on these just to give you a better idea of how detailed this stuff really is. Now you can see here that it's very Baroque, it's very ornate, you've got all the, the typical Dwarven style styling, you know, all of the, the metal gnarlings and of course the, the uh, Lord kind of little medallion things right there and there's the chain, the motivation chain and all, where all the pieces themselves lock in right there and then I guess this is some sort of exhaust, I don't, I don't know. Not exactly sure how it all works. This is Dwarven technology, it's kind of crazy. Here's the blades themselves. And of course, those are very well detailed. They've got all of the uh, little kind of air pocket. I don't, I don't even know what those are. I guess a little detail inside of the blades themselves. Very cool stuff. And then you start getting into the nitty gritty of the parts. So this is the more detailed stuff. So let's get out the other detailed stuff. So of course you got the squished goblin right there. He's kind of, uh, the forms the base of your 32 millimeter plastic base right there. Here's the armor piece that also has the spot for the exhaust to come up out of once you start building that assembly. And then here is the front chassis that has the dwarven kind of uh, helmeted face kind of type deal with a little interior beard. There's your exhaust from the, what appears to be the engine itself that's going to come up out of that slot right there. All very well detailed. Here's the combine itself, very similar to the olden days kind of lawnmower type deal right there. If you've ever seen one of those, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And more and more pieces here. This is the seat, very similar to a tractor seat that you would expect to find in the Midwest or even out on your John Deere if you have a large track of land. And it looks like it's got some sort of uh, 
springs right there to help support the uh, the little stout little dwarf as he rides around drunk on this thing cheating his way to victory and then of course the armored armorly studded wheels here that are going to mash down the foes and there's two of those and then you've got the gears themselves that go on each side of the chassis up here that lock in via these uh, little side chain kind of uh, bicycle chain kind of cover type deals just to kind of put it in bicycle analogies right there there's all that and then you get into the nitty-gritty details and of course there's another one of these uh, that goes on here so you've got lots and lots of parts at this point and I'm just gonna show you I'm not gonna pull them out because I don't want to lose them they are so small you've got the dwarf himself with all of that great beard styling that we saw on the plastic team the goblin head right there that goes up uh, top of the base the little handlebars with the brakes or the hand grips I suppose it is the dwarf tankard as well as his other arm with a nice abraser right there then you've got the foot pads and the supporting uh, I guess mounting brackets for them that attach to the assembly itself so that is pretty much the whole kit right there in a nutshell again I didn't want to uh, kind of take them out of here but you can see that it all fits on a 32 millimeter base that this little gobbo sticks on and then it sticks kind of right over it and then he's got an arm that kind of sticks off and his head uh, goes right there now I'm not exactly sure oh there's his arm right there right in the corner again another reason I didn't want to open this up and start losing pieces so there it is that is the complete assembly now in bubble of course this is kind of like a secret weapon or a, uh, a cheaty way of doing things. You're not gonna get it for very long, but this is a very cool uh, little vehicle that would be very neat to play with on the tabletop, or of course you could convert it over to something else in any of the other myriad of games out there from Games Workshop. Now, if you like all of our video features, make sure you subscribe to this channel, support us on Patreon to get a monthly shipment of miniatures. A lot of folks actually are getting a Blood Bowl these days, so that's always fun, and there is some quarterly options to get that stuff delivered to your door as well and head on over to the longwar.net that's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content early access videos and more become a veteran of the long war today so that's it this is the dwarven death roller from games workshop slash forge world taking a closer look at that bad boy here coming soon to a tabletop or i guess i suppose a pitch near you